Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we have a special treat for you. We are looking at yet another Knipex tool. That is right. Uh, this is the Swedish style um, Knipex pipe wrench. Uh, the model number of this is 8361010. Now, the model number on this is a little different than what you're typically going to see on Knipex tools. Usually those last three numbers indicate the length of the tool, but in this particular instance, it doesn't. Um, this is the uh, S-style um, pipe wrench. And the reason why it gets that name is, is if we look at the jaws, they are shaped like an S. So that is why it's called an S shape. And it's also a 45 degree pipe wrench, which indicates the angle that the jaws are to the handle. So this right here is actually, um, the length of this is 350 millimeter, I'm sorry, 330 millimeters, which roughly comes out to be about, this comes out to be about 13 inches, but it's the 14 inch model. Um, but we're gonna get into a couple things today. Uh, we're gonna check out, uh, compare it to a traditional style pipe wrench. Um, you know, the pros, the cons, what's better about it. Uh, and also I wanna kinda dig into why a pipe wrench is called a monkey wrench. I found some really interesting information on that that I wanna share with you guys as well. Also, don't forget, make sure that you're subscribed to the channels so you can be a part of the giveaway. Uh, I'll leave the video in the upper right hand corner of your uh, screen there so you can go back and check out the video where we're talking about giving away a free Knipex tool. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. All right, now let's get into it. All right, so what we have here on the table today, guys, we have um, this aluminum Irwin. This is more of a traditional style pipe wrench that you're gonna see. You're gonna see this in your grandpa's toolbox. Maybe not the aluminum style, but definitely the uh, cast, uh, cast iron style. Um, these pipe wrenches have been around for years and years and years, and they continue to work because, well, they work. Um, now, there are other versions. This is Knipex's quick adjust model. So these are kind of like the Cobras where you have your push button where you can slide the jaws up and down, um, which is very handy, very quick to maneuver. The only difference, uh, the big difference between these two and the only real difference between these two is um, the handle. As you can see, this is more like a plier style handle. So you have two separate handle pieces that you're holding on to. Now this does have the built-in pinch guard so you don't accidentally pinch yourself. Now, when you look at a traditional pipe wrench, it just has the one handle. So you can really ratchet down on this thing. Now you can do the same thing with this, but when you hold it in your hand, you know, I can't, I can't, just about can't close my hand. So I don't know if that is, you know, a, a pro or a con. You know, that's that's really up for you guys to decide whenever you use these tools. Uh, but uh, let's get some comparisons here on the weight. So again, this is the aluminum version. So this is definitely going to be much lighter than your traditional uh, cast iron pipe wrench. So let's put this bad boy on the scale here and let's see what we have. So this is coming in at two pounds, 1.2 ounces. And this is, uh, the metal used for this is chrome vanadium. So this is not an aluminum wrench. And this comes out to be um, right, very close to two pounds, one pound, 15.6 ounces. So you're looking at a difference in about two ounces. So this is actually steel. This is made of steel. This is made of aluminum. And this comes out to be about uh, two ounces lighter, which I think we can all agree lighter tools are, uh, it's nicer to have lighter tools. All right, so just a couple quick notes to point out before we get into demonstrating these and how they work. So if you notice on a pipe wrench, the teeth, face the opposite direction. So if you see these teeth kind of curve in backwards and these curve in outwards, and uh, what that's supposed to do is, is to help you 
get a good grip because if you're pushing down, these teeth are wanting to grab and pull back while these teeth are wanting to push forward. So that's why you typically see that um, on these pipe wrenches. Now, these do work in a ratcheting way. Now, they take some getting used to, and um, but once you get used to them, you know, you really do start to get a good feel for it and you can, you know, get to ratcheting and you don't have to fool around with uh, trying to shake it to get it off. So if you notice, there's play in the upper jaw here. And what that's for is, is for you to be able to pull off of your pipe. So as you're on your pipe twisting, and once you get ready to pull off your pipe, you can push this back and it opens the jaw, which allows you to slip the pipe out. So let's get a pipe real quick and let's demonstrate how these work. All right, so uh, we're in here on the vise. We got some, some black threaded pipe into a coupler and I've got it tightened up. So I'm going to loosen this up for you guys. I'm going to show you guys real quickly, you know, how these work. Um, you know, I know I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch this know exactly how these work, but for anybody who's stopping by that's not uh, familiar with pipe wrenches, let me show you how these guys work. So with this particular style, what you want to do is, is you want to um, screw your jaw down to where uh, you're, you're, you're getting a good fit on the pipe. Now to take it, take it off the pipe, what you want to do is, is you want to push down on this, even when you're putting it on the pipe on and off, you push down on this so you can get onto the pipe, you let it go, and now you can ratchet the pipe. You guys can see, now you can just ratchet the pipe and you can just move straight on through, unthreading this pipe, and it's that easy. And when you wanna take it off, you just push down on this, and it just releases the pipe. So push down, you're on, push down, you're off. So it's really, it, it's pretty ingenious, um, the design of this. Now, let's look at the uh, Knipex um, Swedish style pipe wrenches. Now, these are different than normal Swedish style. Typically they have like a little uh, bar here that's threaded and you have a screw or a nut like you do on the regular um, pipe wrench and it adjusts this other jaw here. So you screw it down with the button. It just makes it so much more faster, so much quicker to adjust. Now, what something you want to be cognizant of using these is, is you want to make sure when you adjust them that you're not adjusting to where your handles are wide open because you can't get a good grip like that. So when you're adjusting, you wanna make sure that you're giving yourself enough space to be able to get a good firm grip on your handle. So about, here, about right here. So now you can see on my hand here that I can completely wrap my hand around this. Now, just like the other one, you can use this in a ratcheting action and it goes really, really quick. And you don't have to fool with putting your thumb up there. You just let go, just like a regular wrench and you're done. All right, so you can see that both of these pipe wrenches, they work just fine. Now, these pipe wrenches, well, especially this one, actually goes by another term, which is called a monkey wrench. So the first widely circulated theory as to why this is called a monkey wrench is, is because um, the theory goes, allegedly it was invented by uh, the famous uh, black American, uh, the first heavyweight world champion, uh, black American heavyweight champion, Jack Johnson. Supposedly he invented this particular tool while he was in uh, locked up in prison. However, that's not true, um, but Supposedly, the name monkey wrench was supposed to be a derogatory term because uh, he invented it. That's actually not true at all. Um, he didn't invent it, and it wasn't used as a derogatory term. So the second theory is, is that um, it was invented by a man named Charles Monk, or Charles Monkey, uh, and his name was actually spelled M-O-N-C-K-Y, um, and they basically gave it, gave it the name Monkey Wrench as a play on his last name, so they just changed the spelling 
uh, to M-O-N-K-E-Y um, and called it a monkey wrench. Well, that happens to not be true either. The monkey wrench was actually invented by uh, a man named Loring Coase, who was a uh, politician and um, a former member of the Massachusetts House of Representatives. And he invented it, in, the patent was invented in 1940, and it was invented uh, as a screw wrench. Um, the third theory is, is that in some dictionaries, um, monkey, the definition of monkey is actually a small light structure or piece of equipment made for an immediate purpose. So that, that's most likely where the name monkey wrench come from. Um, even though most, obviously most definitions in most dictionaries are going to be referring to the animal, there are some dictionaries that um, do uh, define the word monkey uh, the way I just defined it for you. Um, this is some interesting information. If you didn't know this, give me a thumbs up. If you did know this, throw me a comment down below uh, and let me know if uh, you know one of these theories you've always believed or if you knew the right answer all along. Um, either way, I definitely appreciate the support. Once again, make sure that you comment on the video K -nip -x. Uh, check out the prior video for the giveaway this video is eligible for uh, the giveaway if you follow the instructions from the original video but that's all that i have for you guys today i appreciate you watching i will see you again peace